Hey Patriots, hope you're doing well. Well, things have happened with Twitch recently that I found pretty funny. If you've paid enough attention to the internet and Twitch, then you already know what's been going on with Twitch. And if not, to sum it up real quick, Twitch caved into the thoughts that created a new meta, where they stream themselves topless, but keep the camera far away enough from the biddies to where it's not fully in the camera. Now, if you've been watching Twitch for a while now, all these steamy metas of these ehos are nothing really new to Twitch itself. Maybe I'm misremembering when this whole thing started, but I'm almost for sure the hot tub meta started back in the early 2020s, which is what pretty much started this whole thing. In fact, this is why we have the pools and hot tubs category. This was sort of the happy medium of giving these ehos what they want while also keeping them in their own corner without having to to change the rules. However though, recent events have caused Twitch to reconsider the rules against these people. Because as I mentioned earlier, these eho started a meta where they streamed themselves topless and Twitch just kind of stood there like a deer in headlights when this happened. Then a few days later, Twitch decided to update their TOS to allow artistic nudity, whatever the hell that means. And in comedic fashion, Twitch reverts on this change in legit just a few days after this change. But when this change first came around, to no surprise, this caused quite a bit of an outrage from people. And I mean, people were dogging on Twitch for this, too. Of course, the Ehos were rejoicing in this, but one that kind of took me off guard was when Asmongold was actually in favor of this change. His take has kind of taken some mixed opinions on it, some people calling his take an L, some others in agreement, and well, this was his take. In his tweet, he says, hot take. Twitch isn't and has never been a safe space for underage people. Everyone fixates on boob streamers, but the reality is many Twitch streamers cover topics and have the conversations that would be wildly inappropriate for minors to be involved in. New Twitch changes are a W. And look, this is his opinion. He's fine with having that and I'll let you be the judge in whether he's right or wrong. However, I will say, and this might be a take many of you will probably cringe and dogpile on me on, but hear me out. Well, yes, Twitch isn't necessarily a safe platform for kids. There are tons of streamers who stream content that's more for adults. But in Twitch's TOS, the minimum age you can create an account is 13. And YouTube is the same. And yes, I am in full agreement that you as a parent should be fully aware of what your child is doing online. It's your full responsibility as a parent to know what your kid is doing, and I feel like this is probably something very few will disagree with. Even though I'm sure we as kids hated our parents being helicopter parents, as an adult now, I I have realized why my parents were like that, but if you are going to allow minors to create personal accounts on your website, I feel you as a website are still responsible for the kind of content you are willing to allow on your platform to both underage and adult audiences. Because while Twitch isn't technically a website safe for minors, you still allow minors on your platform. This might not be the best comparison, because my analogy is comparing a public space to an online space, but I feel like you will probably get my point. McDonald's isn't technically a safe space for children, though some do have play areas for them, but not all do. Imagine if McDonald's one day was like, today we are allowing people to come in topless as long as they're covered in paint because we believe artistic nudity should be allowed in our space. Can you imagine the amount of backlash McDonald's would get if they actually did something like this? Again, maybe not the best analogy because McDonald's and Twitch are completely different things, obviously. One is a public space and the other is an online space. But I think you get my point when I say that while Twitch may not be a minor safe website, if you're going to allow minors to sign up for your website, I still do think you have some sort of responsibility to make sure that explicit content is at least not allowed to be in their algorithms. Now look, I'm sure we can all agree that YouTube has plenty of faults, don't get me wrong, but YouTube is mostly, and I emphasize mostly, Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the consistent in either not allowing this type of content or at least not allowing it to be in the algorithms for minors. Also, I will say I do find it kind of hypocritical for Asmin to support these nudie streamers, but also claims that if it were up to him, he would ban all gambling streams because of all the bullshit and pitfalls they will cause the website. But in the tweet where he gave his hot take, he also says that while he don't like the nudie streams, he doesn't have the moral high ground to tell people what they can and can't do. And while I do think that part is 
is fair. At the same time, if you're running a website that allows miners on it, you as a company still have an integrity to uphold to your user base to define a clear line of right and wrong. And look, I'm a free speech and free expression guy. I think you have every right to do that. But at the same time, I know that not every company believes in that and they do want to narrow down what you can and can't do. And those are called rules or laws, depending on whatever you like to call them. And if you're going to allow nudie streams on your platform, then you might as well be consistent and allow gambling. If you're not going to allow free speech and expression, then at least be consistent at it. And many of you might call Asmin a cuck, a simp, a coomer, whatever it may be. Again, this is his opinion, and I'll just let you be the judge and let you think for yourself about how you feel about him. When this change first came out, I really wasn't surprised. I mean, look, I never really liked the leadership of Twitch for the longest time possible. I feel like the leadership at Twitch is nothing more than incompetent women empowerment morons who have no clue how to run a business, who were only appointed there because of DEI. And if you're wondering why I think that, I'll show you a picture of Twitch's ambassadors and let you make out why. And I think this change happened because of two reasons. The Twitch leadership loves it when women sexualize and objectify themselves in the name of women empowerment. But secondly, I also think that Twitch just kind of finally gave up and caved in whenever it came to the sexual content on Twitch. Because as I said before, the leadership at Twitch is incompetent at best. So when it came to finally tackling the subject, instead of drawing a line in the sand, they just kind of tore down the fences and welcomed them over with open arms. But as for going back on that change, I think there are a few reasons why Twitch went back on that almost immediately after they made the change. Some might think it was because of all the backlash and clowning they got for it, but I think what really happened was the higher-ups at Amazon heard about this, called the higher-ups over at Twitch, and demanded that they revert on this change immediately. Do I think this change would have killed Twitch? Honestly, no. I do think, though, as Asmin said with the gambling thing, that this would have been another pitfall for Twitch. Of course, we don't know, nor will we ever know what will have truly happened with Twitch. I'm sure many of you have probably disagreed with my thoughts about the whole thing and with Asmin's take, but that's perfectly fine. In fact, I'd be more interested in hearing about what you guys have to say about the whole thing yourself. So, make sure to comment what you think down below. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I shall see you when the next video drops.